So, I kind of heard what's going on, actually. I heard you guys, um, don't really know about the Kodiak. Uh, because I made a video about me and my cousin Sparkle on it. And, um, I'm just here to tell you what happened to it. And why it's been gone for so long and why it's never going to be on the channel ever again. Um, unless I rebuild the engine, which I might do. And, uh, put it on something else. But, um... This is why, and I'm gonna show you why here, just a little bit, because um, we got some big plans coming for the players. Not big plans. I'm gonna try to see if the if these rims uh, fit on fit on the rear. I'll we'll paint them black uh, to match the front, and that's all uh, to uh, match the front tires. And uh, we'll, maybe we can do something about it. I don't know. But uh, I have a different lug pattern, as you guys know. And I've been trying to find some, maybe some brand new tires or something for But this is the Kodiak. This is it. Uh, this is where it sits. Uh, it has no tires on it. We took the tires off, put it on like 800. And the exhaust, I'm uh, trying to actually get the engine out of it uh, right now. But it's kind of on hold for a little bit. Um, until I can get the engine out and uh, access the damage. I don't know that because it's been blown. It was blown when it parked. It was blowing a lot of blow by. Uh, but I don't know if it really destroyed the diff. I was more contemplating on it actually destroyed a gear, not the pinion gear, that gear. Inside that case right there is a drivetrain to the axle to the uh, diff and I don't know if it's sheared or broke the rear diff but it was hopping and skipping uh, it would like throw the rear end uh, to the left while I was standing straight and you would have to counter steer it and it would uh, kick every time you would shift um, now I, I do think it is a diff um, that grenaded but uh, we don't know until we actually take the diff apart. And uh, we're probably going to use this bike for spare parts unless we get it back going again. You know, spend the money, fix it, and use it as a camp bike here. Um, like the front dash, we don't need no more. Um, you know, you got your hose in plastic where the snorkel was, but we actually might fix this bike and try to sell it. We fix the rear end and sell it, make some money off of it. Um, so that way we don't have a bike sitting here and somebody can have it as their uh, hunting bike or a, a mudding bike. Which I might actually do to this Fula if I do get it back running. Like I said, it has been sunk once, but it is going to be rebuilt. Um, yeah, that's uh, what happens with Kodiak. And um, this is its final resting spot. And I kind of just wanted to hop on and uh, make a little short video saying this is what happened to it. Because I did make a TikTok about how... This thing was destroyed, and how, um, there ain't no reason to run after something already gone. Um, and there isn't. But, it might be fixable, which it is fixable. Uh, the diff, if I would have fixed it, it probably wouldn't have been that expensive at the time. State where we were at, and, uh, where we wouldn't have had, um, inflation go up. Uh, thanks Biden. And, if we wouldn't have had, um, Inflation go up. I probably would have fixed it, and uh, Trump would have stayed president. I probably would have fixed it because the prices of parts for these old bikes would have stayed, and none of it would have been obsolete. I mean, you, you still got aftermarket parts, but uh, I could have found something cheaper than a hundred bucks to fix the diff, if it was the diff, which I'm kind of leading more toward. It was inside that piece that I showed you guys inside that case, or it was, um, or it's the diff. Um, it might not be the diff. It might even be the axle. My main transmission, which I don't think is transmission. Uh, uh, it had a lot of shavings, metal shavings in the oil filter, which is not good. So that's uh, one thing I was not great on um, seeing and happy on seeing on this bike. This was a good bike. It was loud as all hell. Um, it was a good bike. It did fine in the water. I just did the carburetor float wrong, and it would have done fine in the water. Um, we did, I think it was the diff because we put grease in the diff. We didn't have no fluid. We did put grease in the diff, but I would have had to spend a little more money, more money by axles because it, 
had a front, it has a front right broken axle. The left one is fine, but the left right is broken. And I don't feel like spending money on an axle on this thing. Um, it has one new good control arm and one old control arm. It's just not in its right mind, and um, somebody will probably end up selling it as a part bike or um, just we can't use it in any way or form unless uh, I could take down the boards off of it and maybe make some ape hangers for a mini bike. That'd be pretty solid. That'd be pretty cool making some uh, ape hangers, cause, cause um, you know it kind of looked like an ape hanger for a mini bike. Not gonna lie. The fuel tank, um, I don't know what we're gonna use it on. The engine's still good, as far as I know. Um, the front diff is perfectly fine. And, um, yeah, that's about it on that Kodiak and why it's been missing for years to come. And, uh, that's just why it's not here no more. You know, why I got a brand new four wheeler, which I kind of want another four wheeler and I get rid of the players and I get down Sadie get rid of the players or uh, keep the players take all the snorkels off and use it as a hunt bike uh get a Honda use it as a hunt bike but uh I'm sure you stay of that mind of where it's at right now and um before we go riding for my birthday soon which I was making a video on that for you guys and uh where it's at right now and um what it's doing sitting right here in the rain sitting right here in the rain so here's the players it's a magnum 35 um this little box here is overcharging the charging system and it burnt not this headlight but these two brand new cube headlights which i am getting the uh, nightlight brand ones because they're units I like those little night lights, headlights, um, light bars, and uh, we're gonna try to get some of those because they burnt those. Those are cheap headlights, and they kind of burnt, and they burnt. So when I put 15 point something bolts from the charging system to them, and I had to bet with the battery at the same time, and it burnt them, except that one, and then burned this one. So that little box we have that coming in, it's at like a $20 part, $26 uh, part. It's not bad. Um, that's the only thing really wrong with the bike for now that I know of. Um, but that's why it, uh, oh, Lord. I need to clean that. No. And, uh, snorkels are the extended, the, uh, ex uh, ones that extend snorkels are, uh, in here. And, uh, hopefully this summer we have some riding videos, a lot more riding videos, and a lot more videos with this thing. Because I'll be able to drive this summer, which, whew, I'm glad on. But just because of this box here, hopefully. It's not going to put out 15 points on bolts. And that way, uh, while I'm in here, I'm going to go ahead and dielectric grease uh, all my connectors. While I'm in here, um, I'm going to dielectric grease like these connectors. Uh, that box there. Right here. Uh, my spark plug. I'm going to dielectric grease again. Um, my four-wheel drive. I'll make sure all the four-wheel drive works again because of how it burnt the headlights. And hopefully it don't burn the... Um, Hopefully they were in full drive, which wasn't on, so that's why I don't think it did. Um, I gotta try to see why these tires leak. Um, they kind of leak air, but... Uh, the diff still kind of leaks, but it's not as bad. So, as the first time, the exhaust, I want to repaint the exhaust. That light bulb I gotta change. Uh, hopefully we get that part, and hopefully it works. And it charges right, and it don't shock me every time I try to test it. Because it did do that, it shocked me. Uh, and, uh, not bad, but it's like a spark plug. Touch the spark, spark plug wire on, um, spark plug. It, um, that's kind of how it felt. But, uh, 15 point something volts, uh, it's putting out. This wire, whenever, okay, so, the person that sold my dad's friend this bike, um, did some rigging with the wiring, and, um, electrical tape half the stuff. So I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna fix all the electrical tape stuff, so that way I don't have to go ahead and, um, basically have electrical burn. Uh, so that's why I'm gonna die electric grease everything like that one. I think that should be fine, that box, but I'm gonna go ahead, I think that's the brain. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, definitely check that out on, uh, die electric grease that, uh, die electric grease these up here, um, that 
box down there. I don't know if I can dielectric grease that one. Yeah, I can dielectric grease uh, those. Let's see those wires right there. Those orange and red one. Um, and I see all the duct tape stuff. I'm uh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna I'm fix that. Um, let's see, duct tape. Um, that actually don't look bad. I think it's uh, it'll be do pretty good. The CDI, I don't know where the CDI is. I think that's the CDI. But everything's pretty much sealed for electrical. Uh, it burnt my neutral light also, but I don't need a neutral light. So um, that works. I just got it off because I thought it was no more good, but it turns out it is. So hopefully we can get this thing back up and going again for my birthday. And uh, if it doesn't help it, well, then we're just gonna write it like that. Uh, but I will have these snorkels extended uh, for the birthday, and uh, that's exactly what we're gonna do here. But the old Polaris is back up and going; she's running, and uh, we're gonna get her going from from a birthday. We have the port coming in this week, and it is officially summer, so I'm ready. And uh, yeah. that's basically what we're done. So, old Polaris is down for now, but she will be fixed. So, yeah, that's the update. Um. I got for y'all today, so.